that poopy smell in here? It's a, I can't get the edge. Like it literally smells like a big giant ball of sulfuric acid. I think, Hershey squirt and poop. I how you make me feel inside, baby. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm just hiding my mustache. It's okay. Wait a minute. I ain't never hid my mustache before. I ain't hiding my mustache. Okay, what's up? If your name, if your name's Marina, my name's Marina too. <laughs> hey, what's up? My name is Marina. I wanted to hop on here and let you know that this video is in collaboration with my friend Tony. She's actually my friend and she's a very good friend of mine. Her channel is called Chaotic Country. I adore her and her whole entire family. You guys, if you love family vlogs or anything like that, you will fall, just go go check her out. You'll fall in love with her family. Cool thing, you guys gotta go. You guys gotta go check this out. You have to. Okay, so they took this double wide that they bought, and her husband, her husband, not like a big contract or anything. Her husband built on to that double wide and it is a daggone mansion it is a kentucky mansion baby it's the most amazing thing i have ever seen i will link her channel below but i'll also try to link that video where she talks about it and shows it um with her channel like below her channel i'll add another link oh my god it's insane like it's insane it gives me high hope i'm thinking about like putting like three single wides together and making it a triple wide and then layering three more single wides on top of it and make it, oh, talk about a mobile home mansion oh future plans future plans i'm already my mind's a reeling no i ain't gonna go out here and, and nail a two by four to my roof yet but i'm not above doing that in the future <laughs> Phyllis, if you don't know who Phyllis is, let me catch you up for a minute. She's my nosy neighborhood pharmacist. <laughs> I can just see Phyllis now thinking she's done made a bad batch. <laughs> see me out there hammering a two by four to the roof. Hey, what's up, buddy? It's Marina. Um... Today's just going to be get it all done. I have a lot of cleaning and decluttering and organizing that I want to do. How did I switch so fast to work mode? <laughs> That's why I don't have a job. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I got a lot of organizing I got to do today. Got a lot of cleaning. Got, I'm going to probably show you guys. Probably going to bring y'all along with me. Somebody just text me. Probably gonna bring y'all along with me as I cook. Oh, I'll probably throw in a grocery haul. I did spend way more than, uh, wow, I'm getting a lot of messages. Aw, somebody who just named Miriam, you're so nice. But anyway, my Adderall. How much, what did I get on here to say? Oh, I went over on my grocery budget. Wow, that was, I felt like I said that a long time ago. I went over on my grocery budget, but that's because I got household stuff, like extra than normal, and I got big things that cost me about 50 bucks. So I spent 290 minus that 50 bucks and a food processor, which was 15 bucks. So 290 minus basically 60 bucks is 230. So I went $5 over budget. Hey. Okay, let's just interrupt me. <laughs> Holy moly, did you do oh my gosh. Y'all, so Shane has a TikTok. I'll share that below. His link is always linked in all my videos down in the description box. He's a cartoonist, if you didn't know. And has been for a very long time. And that is really good. Thank you. Are you proud of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty proud that of it. That is super good, Shane. Those colors are beautiful together. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Thank you. What are you doing? Is that where you've been this whole time? Yeah. Really? I got all these groceries needing to be unloaded and you're over there drawing? Me and Daddy are about to help. <laughs> Will you help me at least talk about them if I get them undone? What do you mean, Sarah? I don't know. They like it whenever you do the grocery hauls. 
Yeah, get them ready and I'll do it. Okay, let's go unload groceries. I sound so cliche. So for refrigerated stuff other than meat, we got some Bob Evans mashed taters. Shane loves these. Yes, I do. <laughs> we got some sliced Swiss cheese and sliced provolone cheese. We got some, there it is. I was like, <laughs> we got some sour cream. Um, I got egg roll wraps. I don't use these for egg rolls. I use these for. Oh, no, taquitos. Nope, wontons. Oh, oh, no, but. I love wontons. I got you pizza for that night. Um, I got a thing of yellow onions, shredded carrots, cabbage, one stop, one red bell or one red pepper, and then three bell peppers. Huh? Did you call the bell pepper a bell pepper? Yep. One red bell pepper and three green bell peppers, and then for non-food related items. I got Binks some dog food. I got three things of 18 count black hangers. Shane, what did you do to this one? I didn't do anything. It ain't even in its package no more. They're everywhere. Yeah, that would be the Walmart people. And then I got this Express Chop and Whip. I think, I'm hoping it'll make my life easier because y'all know I can't chop worth a dookie. The expensive items was the chopper. It was like $15. That ain't too bad though. And these. I bought three of things because this weekend I am determined to get our lives semi-organized. <laughs> so I got three of these things. And I'm going to use one because we don't have a lot of space. Living in a single wide, six of us living in a single wide, is a nightmare when it comes to space. So I really need to amp up my organization method, right? Yeah. Um, now, I'll never be a, a Cardi B KonMari uh organizer i can do what i can do so i got these for like underwear socks and washcloths and towels as far as drinks go we have shane's normal dr peppers we have a 12 pack of coke two 12 pack of twist ups a 12 pack of sprite and some waters and milk oh did i even show you guys the milk yeah we got milk too all right guys welcome to another episode of awesomely created <laughs> All right, so we're just going to continue the grocery haul where we left off with uh, where I left off with the uh, beautiful soothing voice of uh, me. Okay, you know what? <laughs> this is my channel now. I'm the captain now. Okay. Yeah, you just winked at me behind the camera. Right. I don't know who the real alpha is. You you obeyed it. All right, here here's the garlic bread sticks. Marina loves her garlic bread. We've got buttermilk biscuits. Yummy, yummy. We got, what are these? Cheddar chive and garlic. Ooh, those actually look pretty good. Look at that. We haven't tried those yet. Those look really good. We got some wedges. We got some pizza rolls. Always good. We got some seasoned fries. <laughs> we got some taters. They don't call them tater tots. We got yeast rolls. We got some frenchy fries. Oh, we got some rice. What is this? You're Chili not powder. Finish the freezer section before you. No, we're earlier. doing it my way. Um, red pepper. Here, I'll come back because I know you like it your way. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, we got some buttermilk pancakes. Actually, we got three packs. Heck yeah, I might be able to actually get some this time. We got some cinnamon sticks. Two, two packs. packs of those. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mozzarella sticks. As you can tell, we like our garlic and our cheese in this household. We've got some ice cream, vanilla bean, vanilla bean. Uh huh. Vanilla bean. We got some pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni. <laughs> we got some buttermilk waffles. What kind? Of along ice? with chocolate chip for the kiddos. We've got some beef broth, chicken broth. Oh, two chicken broths and less sodium chicken broth. That seems fun. All right, we've got all powered, all, 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 you, powered, old man. all purpose flour. Um, we got some thick and chunky. <laughs> That's how you like your women. <laughs> we, got some green, we got some green beans. Some tomato sauce. Some 
some green beans. Green beans, green beans. We got, oh, we got ooh, that. What was it? Refried beans. We got some peaches. Going to the country. Peaches. Uh, got some marinara sauce. What's that for? It's a surprise. Ooh, surprise. And then, oh, back to this. We got some chili powder. We got some red pepper. Cat soup. Which we've been, we've been dodging the ketchup for the last few weeks, yeah, haven't I we? I forgot it in the past few weeks. We got some hamburger buns. <laughs> we got some tortillas, two packs, Twinkies, mashed taters. Oh, yeah, we got some penne, 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 penne noodles and some elbow noodles. Did we get some knee two noodles packs. too? <laughs> <laughs> Too fat, <laughs> we got some super moist cake. Yeah, I hate that word. Moist. Perfectly moist. Strawberry. Why did they put the word moist with that? <laughs> Ugh. We got, what are these? Well, Y'all are good, son. Belgian waffles? No, I already had one. Straight up, now tell me. Let Tell them. I've already had, like, can you hear me? Baking I've already pack. had. Hey, this is Hello? my. Get I've off my channel. Get off Belgian my channel. And they are so good. And show them the brand of those Belgians. I'm showing the fajitas right now. <laughs> we have moved on. No, show them. You are living no, in the past. No, listen. We need to show them the brand because those things are awesome. Oak Run Farm Bakery. Belgian waffles. Original. Authentic. Net weight. 14.8 ounces. 420 grams. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those Check that out. Good. They're good by 4121. You want me to read these? No, put down. Yeah, there it is. We got Shake. some nutritional. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, that now we're gonna have to put all this away. You're gonna have to put all this away. You no. Know. And then uh, we've got to show them the um, meat. With me. yeah, got, or do you want to just pull the meat out of the bag and show them? Yeah, I can do that. All right, who wants to see some meat? Same. Check it out. We've got lean ground beef. We got two of these. Yeah, we got two of these suckers. I can't wait. I'm all about the beef. <laughs> Who's laughing at? We got, oh yeah. Uh, we got some pepperoni. We got some pork chops. Did I say them right that time? You're welcome. <laughs> We got some bologna. <laughs> Snap, we got some Italian sausage. Snap. We got some. Shane, uh, I'm gonna have to block that Yeah, you're gonna have to block that one out. I'm sorry. Oh, quit. Well, we can cut okay, that quit. Oh. All right, we got some Swaggerty's Farm premium sausage. Oh, snap, what do we got? We got some London broil. I can't wait to eat that. Oh, we got, oh yeah, we got some chicken breasts. We got two packs of chicken breasts. So yeah, that's our grocery haul. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a blessed okay, evening, wait, blessed not, night. The video's not <laughs> over. <laughs> Why not? Now what we're gonna do is spend the day with me and then we're adding this in there. Well, come spend the day with us and then you can have a blessed evening day or night or whatever it is or whatever you do okay right. so <laughs> listen we all have that area of the house that just gets ridiculous like do you have that area i have that area maybe not all of us have that area but the hot messes we that are hot messes she who is a hot mess definitely has that area so I'm going to tackle this because I have been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and it needs to get done. I'm not even going to. Okay, let's just, I'm just going to show you guys. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to have that one person that says, it's not funny. I don't know why you're laughing at this. This is terrible. Yeah, it is. But what do I always say? It's not anything unfixable. There's no system in here. No system. These are totes. I have a ton of memory bins, and that's what I keep all my kids, like, 
special clothes from babies and, and footprints and handprints and coloring pictures and notes from them and um, binkies and all that stuff. I keep them in the memory bins. And then that one right there is a coat tote for winter coats. Um, that's my papaw's. It, he passed away. It's very special to me. He was a minor. That's also my papaw's. Um, it was his leather jacket. He raised me. So, uh, when he passed away, I took it really hard. So, thankfully, I have those just to make me feel better. <laughs> the games, I don't know. There's no system to that. Bags and purses up there because I never carry them. I don't know why I even have them. Random lotion, kids hangers, um, picture books, and important memory books. Mm, if y'all see underwear, I'm sorry. Uh, dirty underwear at that. This is all. So this back here. <laughs> okay. Real life. Real life. That's my study Bible right there. I don't know what that's doing there actually. It's supposed to be on the cubby hole. Real life. I have two laundry baskets full of dirty laundry in here. I have them in here. Um, because I don't have anywhere else I can put them that they don't stick out like a sore thumb, okay? I have two laundry piles in here. Well, I have two laundry piles in here. <laughs> All of that is dirty laundry. So, I need to do something with that. I really need to go down through there and just declutter a lot of clothes and I plan on doing that. There's no, literally, I don't even know. I think there's a craft bin in there, a tool bucket, um, perfume, clothes that have fallen in the floor. Back here, we have a mountain of clean clothes that gets rummaged through and then not folded back. This cubby has clean clothes that I don't wear anymore folded on it. Um, I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, this situation needs to be tackled. But I just realized that I am out of trash bags. So, I may have to go get trash bags. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going out in the rain to get trash bags because I'm never prepared. Yes, I just made a grocery order. Um, can somebody tell me why Phyllis is sitting on her porch? I can't show her because that would be unethical. She's sitting her on her porch in the rain and her porch isn't covered. Should I smile at her? Should I smile at her? Everybody needs to smile every now and then. Okay, so I'm going out. in the rain is that a whole lot oh okay y'all so this is i'm not a good vlogger and this is why um my car you hear that my car ain't a good vlogging car because it makes a funny noise hey i need your phone just in case um and it, and it has a habit of not starting when it needs to start so if you hear a just know we struggle over here. Blue ain't your color. Oh no. Do y'all ever get nervous when there's a cop behind you? You're not doing anything wrong. You're actually going like 10 below the speed limit, but the cop's behind you. Crap dang it. I forgot my mask. You know what, buddy? You can just pass me. That's fine. You in a hurry, Lord Jesus, let him get to where he's going safely because he's acting like a maniac. They waved at me. They waved at me, y'all. They waved with one finger. Bless them. Oh, I'll be on. There's Buster. Hey! No, sir, it's my turn. It's my turn. Oh, kind of that yellow light. Oh, I'm so sorry. I made those people lose that green light. Look at me being a booger. So this is a downside to being a hermit. I leave my house to go four minutes. Yeah, they just flew past me in the slow lane. I hid Shane's uh, phone under the Bible. So hopefully if somebody tries to uh, steal it, they'll think again. <laughs> Look how cute. What I 
come here for? Trash bags. It's Tennessee weather. Ooh, y'all. What's that? Ten bucks. That gone. Ooh. I've heard nothing but good stuff about this stuff, so I'm gonna get it. Used to, I could find the downy scent warmers, like the wax melts, but I haven't been able to find the downy one. Oh, I found them. I'm getting like three packs. These things are the bomb. I should have got a buggy. I'll be back. I'm gonna go get a monster and then I'm gonna head out of here. This is what I got. I'm excited to try this out. Got some glad bags. I think they're in the, yeah, game scent and some drawstrings, the big ones. And then three packs of those because I love these and they never have them in stock. Now we gotta get to work on the closet. I know the way that you think about me, but I don't wanna know the truth. I hear the things that they say about me, but I don't wanna know the truth. Don't you ever wanna run away? Don't you ever wanna walk away? So. You guys see I use a lot of decor. I've cleared out this whole floor. That's why I'm like <gasps> I use a lot of decor that I've already had. I shop my house a lot. That's because I have hoarder totes in here like this. That already have pieces of decor in them. That I have every intention on redoing. I just haven't got around to it yet. I think right now you are sick of talking And that the fire seemed to fade And I know we're hanging on to something That so easily could break Don't you ever want to run away don't you ever want to walk away? Don't you ever want to leave this place? Cause I need you when the day's gone. And I would change, I would change for you. I would break, I break these walls too. And I would change, I would change just for you. And I would change, I would change for you. And I would break, I break these walls too. I would change. A different closet and there's structure to it so I got my towels up here got our washcloths in there these are the rest of our towels are in the laundry I have done five loads of laundry you only see one hamper here that's because I divided the hampers I have three hampers in here right I divided them between us one for the girls and one for the boys and I put the boys in their room and the girls in their room so that we only have one hamper in here that's, I've done all of the laundry that was ours except for that right there. So I've got that one there and I'd like to get it to where that stays empty, you know, and I do like laundry. I'm trying to get on a laundry routine where I 
can do laundry like at least two loads a day and get caught up it's a, it's a process um here i've got like extra toothbrushes one of my lovely friends sent my kiddos these and they love them and they work amazing so thank you so much i can never thank you enough they love them and they we played this game to where they picked a random color like they picked one without knowing the color and they all got their favorite color so it was so fun um that's where the extra toothbrushes go and then um the extra contact solution shane's shaving kit my makeup is in like this little container in here are organ all organized my nair <laughs> and then i gotta be careful not to show you guys the uh the underwear door what is this, is this Oh, this is my lotions and perfumes and Shane's cologne and stuff. Got a ton of that in there. Those three, so these three on the bottom, those are my undershirts and undergarments. Those are my socks and underwear, and those are Shane's socks and underwear. All the blankets are going to go here. I have a pillowcase right there, like just like neatly stacked up. We don't have a lot of extra blankets, um, but I do keep them in case, you know, Cammie has an accident or something happens up in the middle of the night and we need to change our sheets or something like that. Like we've had, because we've had instances where our kids have puked everywhere <laughs> and then we didn't have an extra sheet to put on the bed and that sheet that we had was puked on. So I make sure to keep extras, just not a whole lot because they can get out of hand quickly. Um, here I'm going to have puppy pads camis underwear and wipes and stuff like that and then that is for the girls underwear and socks and that's for the boys underwear and socks because we don't have enough room in their rooms with the bunk beds the girls have the smaller room and so they have to have bunk beds they still don't have room for a chest of drawers and they don't have any room for their closet right now because they have a huge toy chest so my goal later on sometime soon hopefully i'll be able to redo both of their closets so i can move all their underwear and stuff to their closets because it's kind of weird for them to have to come all the way in here to my closet to get their stuff but this guys this is real life large family living in a very small home i mean basically if you do our people to space ratio we do tiny house living <laughs> so i got my clothes right here which another one of my friends sent me these and I'm in love. I tried them on and they fit perfectly. Got those. Got extra ugly hangers back here because I know at some point I'm going to need a new hanger. And I'd rather keep the ugly ones than just toss them. Got some extra black ones right there. And got Shane's clothes right here. This is all of our clean clothes that we've got hanging up. Um, but like I said, I've got... I've got five loads I have to fold. So I'm going to get those folded after I get done with this so I can stay on it because I really want to get on that laundry routine. My bags are up there. I got rid of half of my bags. They're, the ones that I kept are up there. Those are like my Columbia drawstring, my um, overnight bags, my Under Armour bag, my Adidas bag, and a lunch bag, like a lunch tote that my mom gave me. These are extra curtains. I don't like getting rid of curtains because I change up my decor so much. So I used to have these in our bedroom and then I used to have these in our living room. I don't necessarily like them anymore, but if Colton gets to wear because this matches Colton's room, if he likes these, we can switch them out. I just like having extra ones. Um, and it's not a problem right now until it like hits the ceiling. Then I'll be like, oh snap, we need to downgrade. <laughs> downgrade on some curtains. That is a tote full of movies. This is my craft tote. It has all my craft supplies, hot glue guns, paints, acrylics, all that stuff in there. Adhesives. Um, this is Shane's tool bin. It's up here because it don't, there's no room for it down here. But that has all his tools in it. He don't have a lot as this, but he does have some. Then we come over here behind the door here. You can see that I've moved these here. So let me let me get over here. Okay, so this is what the totes look like in our closet now. I did this because I really want to have room to put a bedroom suit in my bedroom whenever we can get to a place to where we can afford one. I'll, I'll buy it off Craigslist or off of Facebook Marketplace or something, but I'm saving up for one of those right now. So this is going to be in here for now. I'd love to keep it in the hallway, but with Cami, that's just not, and that's not an option. He will go through and color in all the pages of the books and he really likes to color and he has no limits as to what he'll color on he loses the markers and stuff like that so i have to have it in an area where it's away from him and where i can only give it to him and that way i can supervise him with it does that make sense 
So, trash, ouch. So, Colton's switch is in here because he's grounded from it. This is just extra camera equipment. I'm going to have all my camera equipment on here as well. I had it in there in the kitchen and admiring it. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to have it in here. Um, our printer. Here is mainly my stuff, except for that. That's where the kids' coloring books and crayons are going to go, but they're coloring in some of them right now and using the crayons. These are some of my books and all my Bible stuff. I have tons and tons of Bible stuff. It's just crammed in there. Um, up here we have educational games. We have books that we read aloud. I did a I did a tour on this the other day. I'll try to link that video below. Um, but I've added some more, uh, like Anna Green Gables. One of you guys sent Colton this book actually two of you one of them sent colt book one and one of them sent book two thank you so much we are so excited he, i read the back of this one to him we're still waiting on the first one to get here um but amazon notified me it was on the way we're we read the back of this and he is so excited and here we have their um bins we have colton's jc's jolies extra boards extra white boards <laughs> a pack of cards what is that doing there i don't know Oh, I think it's supposed to be down here with the, yeah. Down here's the games. Um, there's picture books, important paperwork, um, important keepsakes, notes, letters, things like so that. So while it don't look like amazing, it is way more organized and I know where things are. Now my memory bins I had in here, all the memory bins, they're going into the cranny. There's a there's a big square nook in my master bathroom. You guys have never seen my master bathroom. That is because my master bathroom is not usable. We That is the next big room we're tackling because we need two working bathrooms. But in that bathroom, there is a nook where I can keep totes. It is, it's a pretty good size nook. It's usually where we keep our Christmas tree and stuff because when you open the bathroom door, you can't look into there. You can't see in there. So be on the lookout for that. That's coming soon. I got a bunch of updates coming soon. I've been loving doing my update videos for you guys and you guys have been loving them too. So I'm really excited to get that one out, but I'm nervous. I don't like, the bathroom is my least favorite place to make over, period. I don't like making over the bathroom, but it always usually ends up really good. So, well, sometimes, well, high hopes. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. My kids are fighting right now, so I need to go in there. Don't forget to check out Tony. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And I'll see y'all. I will see y'all later.